hello everyone and welcome back to this tutorial so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the HTML tables in the previous videos we have learned how to create list and how to use Emmet to auto generate this list structure but in this video we'll go directly into how to create HTML tables so I'll create my file right here table dot html and i use a shortcut you can get a video for the boiler plate and now to declare a table in html we use the table tag so what do we call a table a table helps us to give a layout for our idea so it gives a structure using rows and columns to represent the information that we provided so a table is indicated with the table tag in HTML table like this and then it has a closing tag of table so after this the whole table is divided into structures this semantic structure may not be followed at times but it is of good use and it is proper to have them followed step by step so a table should have a t head which is the table head this is not absolutely necessary if you just want to create a table that you want to use but for semantic purpose to make the structure clean you may need to put things like table head and then table body so we have t head t body these are enough we could go on and on to write more table structure that may not really be used but these are okay so let's say in the head the table head should usually contain the header of the information on the table so we can outline the table header here and then what we use is the th which signifies the heading the same way we use h1 to indicate heading for normal text and p for paragraph for normal text the same way we use th here to indicate the heading for table text and we use tr for normal text but in most cases before we write our th you want to wrap them inside one row I know this might sound complex a bit but this is simple all our content because a table is displayed in rows and columns we want each row to represent each ideas so you might want to wrap it will be best to wrap our idea inside a row tr for row and then at the end I can write tr for row here again and to make this looks nice I might want to shift this one a bit in order to format everything at once you can select all and press press alt shift f if you are using vs code now you notice that it automatically format my code what that means is that all the unnecessary spaces it delete them and all the layouts that are wrong so this is tracing directly to this because when you write more complex code or more bulky code especially in HTML, there's tendency that your file get disrupted and disordered so i'll write an heading here let's say name another so each of these will stand in a column while these all of them will be inside one row name I'll say age I'll say country it is okay like this then after this head I'll go into my body and create another row that is going to contain the information I want to use so for each of them I have to use TD to represent table data 
that we also call table description but in this case it is just table data table data name i want to put um harjan and h for this person i want to put 25 and country i want to put india now if i load this in my browser it looks like this name age country now what we see is that this appears like normal text but initially it is not normal text it is a table but the lines that separate the table is hidden by default we can we can readdress this by using CSS to style it or we can write the HTML to bring out the border although the HTML style using the border in the HTML style is an old method which I do not recommend well so most times we use CSS to bring out the border of the table so we can write a simple CSS code in our head tag like this the just style and I'll call table so I want to give table a border of you do not need to focus how it works now just focus what you see as a result 1px solid now this will wrap our table inside an outline also I can add that table and table row should have the border of one pixel I can add table th and td so having table border table header so these are these and this table data all of them now have a line but it doesn't really look very corporate like this let me zoom it a bit so we might have to do or co collapse so all right another CS code CSS code for that but I don't want to go too deep into that in order not to confuse you I will just have to write border collapse collapse which is going to collapse all these lines into just few lines so all right T So, from this, I just need to add border collapse and I'll tell it to collapse. If I refresh this, the border is collapsed. The border is the outline, and now we can have name, age, country written in bold letters because they are considered as the header inside the th a t t head they are th inside t head this is table head and this is table heading this is table body and this is a row this is the description or the data of each of them if i want to put more information i can duplicate this or let's use emmet i can say td times the number of TDs that I need let's say TD times um, if I use times three here 
is going to make this particular row to become longer because I'm putting all this TD inside one row. So we have six TD, which means six columns inside one row, while in the head we have three columns inside one row. If I refresh this now, we see these three empty columns with nothing in the table head. In order to avoid this, I'll cut this. And create another table row. So we have an empty table row under it. So I can say TD, the name of this one is a manual, and the age is 30 or 40, and the country is Nigeria. Now this looks like this. The same way I can carry this and repeat again another person. I'll say boss is twenty years old or thirty. And it lives in the United United States of America. Then we have this. Also, I can wrap all of this instead of writing a very long time like this. I can wrap them together using the Emmet structure. So let me use Emmet to write this. I'm going to write table because we start with table greater than. The next thing we have is table head table head plus because both table head and table body they as the as siblings of the same parent table starter there's table head and there's table body if i just expand this alone you can see what we have so I can come inside this and write a structure that I want to write. Alternatively, I can write everything at once. But in order to make it easy for you to understand, that is why I'm writing it step by step like this. So inside this T-head, I can create a TR, which means table row, and create TH which is going to contain all the th that we need, the heading th times 3 th times 3 now I have this and I can repeat the same thing for this body tr th times 3 now if I were to write this alone while working it will be faster but I need to slow down so that I can get the structure now this is the basic skeleton for everything we have written here you can keep on practicing the use of Emmet in order to gain mastery on how to use it and it is really going to be helpful for you so guys thank you very much for watching this video in the next video i'll be showing you how to include an image in html file so if this lesson has been helpful to you hit the subscribe button and like this video thank you very much